Hello, this is Mr. Evil T. And I'm Sam McKay. It is our review of the 306 scale Game of Thrones Jon Snow action figure. It comes in this fancy little box. It's got this real nice texture to it. And got some glossy looking shiny Game of Thrones letters. You can see if it says Jon Snow. And then imprinted, you can see there's Night Watch's Oath. And it's hard to see on camera probably, but it's all on there. The whole damn thing. <laughs> and on the side, you got a picture of his sword and belt and sheath. And the Night's Watch. And on the back, it's the same thing. This got a little dented. But this is another thing that annoys me about the six scale figures. It's these nice boxes they have. <laughs> It's like, I wouldn't take, if I was doing points on these figures, I wouldn't take off for having a nice box, but it still annoys me that they have a nice box, because it's like, what do I do with this box? I don't want to throw it away. It's so nice looking. This one's not that great. No, but it's cooler on the inside. But it looks still the, um, I don't know, it just seems nice. <laughs> this one, you can actually see him through the inside box. There's like a white border around the side. Mm -hmm. Then you got the sheath and the sword again, but in white. And on the back, you got the white words saying the oath. Much easier to read than it is on the front, but you can read all that if you want. Don't do it. No. So, there he is in there. Somebody tried to suffocate him. <laughs> Let's open him up. So, here he is all opened up out of the package. And my first thought is that he's really cool looking all over. All together, I mean. Um, I thought his, uh, I thought in the preview pictures his fur on top of his coat was a little fluffier, maybe? Yeah, it looks a bit matted. And I messed with it the other day when I first opened them, and I tried to make it a little fluffier, and it just it doesn't seem to want to do it. But, still... The outfit and everything is looking really nice. And I do think his head looks really good. Like, well, compared to the Tyrion 3-0 figure, which I think has a much better face, but this one's still pretty damn good. You're also saying they got his expression pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, he always has that worried expression on his face. It's like his default expression is like a worried... Concerned. Yeah. <laughs> and they got that down very well. And they got his nice... Glossy eyes. I like the. That's what's creepy about six scale figures is their, their glossy, lifelike eyes. Now it comes with a few accessories. The only things that aren't attached to him when you first open them are his extra hands. You can have just like a relaxed hand, or a hand that can hold a weapon. That's his jerk off hand. Yeah. <laughs> and his other two accessories are already attached. That's his uh, sword, which is in the sheath, and then his like. Smaller sword or dagger or whatever, which is in the sheath also. I guess you could consider his cape an accessory because you can remove it. And if you got the deluxe version, you can also get Ghost or his Dire Wolf. But uh, I didn't go for that because you have to pay $40 more and it looks terrible. I just, I really don't like the face on it. I think the face sculpt is not very good on Ghost, so I just passed on that. It's it's very cartoony expression on his face. Mm -hmm. It looks more like a dog that just ate peanut butter than one that's <laughs> angry. <laughs> it's kind of like, a, it's almost like a bear mixed with a wolf and and then he has a little bit of inbreeding problems causing <laughs> like retardation and <laughs> all kinds of problems in that ghost figure. So... If anybody knows where to get a good six scale wolf, that's the right scale because I know there's some like Fu Manchu from Free Review show me one that comes with this uh, flirty girl figure. It's a little wolf, but it's it's way too small. It's about that tall. It's about spot it. But his wolf needs to be up there because he has the dire wolves are huge. But I couldn't find any. I looked looked around for one. I couldn't find any. Probably have to end up getting like one of them statues. You find it. Stores and stuff like stores and stuff. Is he finding like gas stations and stuff like that? <laughs> okay, I've seen those everywhere. Like I was saying, here's his the furry part of his jacket. Seems a little 
Oh, if it's supposed to hang off to the side like that, it seems a little crooked. But maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. But I do like that they made it all furry looking like it does in the show. But it, it, in the preview pictures, it did look fluffier. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, it's, it looks like he's been out in the rain and it's like wet. It looks like wet dog. Mm. <laughs> My guess is that it was probably too fluffy and they purposely matted it down. But now it's too matted. Yeah. So I, I guess I'd probably prefer this over too fluffy. Except that if it was fluffy, you can maybe fix it yourself. So I don't know. But I think it doesn't look completely accurate, but it looks good. Mm -hmm. I really like his outfit. Other than that, I'll take this cape off eventually. But uh, the main thing that kind of bugs me about his outfit, other than the cape, is just right here. Because it looks cool with the belt buckles and everything, but it just looks too bunched up and or something there, like... Just sticking out too much. I think it just has to do with the material is just too thick for a figure this size. But it's not bad. It's just a little noticeable to me. It just seems to stick out a lot. I think it'll actually be more noticeable when you take the cape off because you can see it's bunched yeah, around the sides. Maybe. I had it off the other day, but I was in a dim light. This is actually the first I'm seeing him. Yeah. I didn't see him until we got him out of the box during the video. Uh, I think the rest of the case is pretty cool. I like the uh, material they used. It's like got a kind of a weird, what you call it, texture? I don't know what you it's call like it. It's like a crepey texture. Oh. It's how you can't tell here, but when you hold up the light, it's very see-through. But don't hold up to the light. Because <laughs> right here, it looks pretty good. Um, I really like the leathery material here, though. That looks really nice. And the, what they use for the straps. Yeah, and they, they did, like, wear and tear on it that looks good, too. Mm -hmm. That Yeah, I really like the way the uh, color of that material is. It really looks warm. Mm -hmm. Looks awesome. And whatever they use, this is like a a rubbery material here they use for the belt. Oh, I didn't realize it was that flexible. Yeah. That was pretty cool. It looks really good, too. And this material down here. Wow. That also looks very warm. And then you got his pants, which looks worn too. They're really good. That's what they did on the three the three zero pet walkers from Walking Dead. Had really nice clothes that looked worn, and that's the way these look too. And even on the boots, the boots are like rubbery, rubbery plastic, and they did a nice job of painting on the like the dirt. Looks really cool. His gloves. He's got big, bulky gloved hands. Which means you can't get much articulation at the wrist. You can still spin there, though. And they're very clean looking, but maybe they should be. I don't know. So we got the cape off. And he still looks pretty good without the cape. Um, like I said, you can see the bunched upness around his neck there a little bit. It's not too bad. It's just something I noticed. It is very bulky clothing, though. Like, yeah, we tried even on the show. It's very bulky. Yeah, it is. Also, there's these strings here that tie his this front part to this shoulder part, and the strings kind of stick out. And you could cut the strings, but then if it comes loose, you won't be able to tie it because the strings won't be long enough. I tried to tuck them underneath of here. It was kind of hard, but you might be able to. Get them in there if you mess with it enough. I think if we if we got them a little bit wet, you could tuck them under there. Yeah. But that's just a few little nitpicky things because this overall the outfit looks really good. It's pretty impressive. Got some dirt on his butt. <laughs> <laughs> I like I really like the way they make it look so worn. It looks mm -hmm. really good. It really looks like he's wearing like a leather suit that's worn. They do a good job of distressing it. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll look at some of his accessories. And here's his sword. It's got the wolf head on it. Mine mm, don't really look like a wolf, though. Yeah, the... Well, he looked really close to looking like a wolf. But I don't think it looks as much like a wolf as it does on the show. I'll have to see it again. It looks like the end of his muzzle is, like, smushed. They call that a muzzle? Yeah, a mouth. Oh. Area is muzzle. I call it a snout. 
That's like a pig. Oh. <laughs> and a dog. Well, I guess it would be the muzzle. Oh. Well. <laughs> Looks like his sword's rusting. I think he needs to polish it or something. Polish it with the guts of your enemy. <laughs> But it looks cool. Other than, other than the head, I think is a little funny. But I, I think it looks cool. I don't. I never noticed this much black lines in it. It always just looked like super white whenever they showed this sword. But I don't know. they probably did that to show detail. Yeah. But it's still cool. And if it's done into the sheath really nicely, and here's a look at the sheath. It's got some nice texture and paint on it. And a little leathery strap holding it on. And he also comes with this smaller sword slash knife dagger thing. I hate when they have these things. Because I don't know. It looks like a sigh. <laughs> it does. But it's just like a little like close up, close range weapon or whatever you call that. But it looks cool. Nice little weapon. So it fits in his hand pretty well. One thing I noticed is his other hand that holds weapons. It's the uh, the thumb is attached to the pointer finger, and it's hard to get that handle into it. So if you wanted to hold it, have him holding this sword in both hands, it might be a little difficult to do. And now it's time for articulation. Yay! <laughs> now the head can look down. It can. Uh, can't look back very far. It's kind of hindered by the shirt, I guess. But it could look to the side. Make lots of noise. My neck there. makes that noise, too. His head can go like that. <laughs> His head can go like that. <laughs> like that. You can tilt to the side. So, he's got these on articulation at the head. It just doesn't can't go back too far. So if you want him looking up into the sky, the clouds, for some reason, it's hard to do. Now up at the shoulders... I think it's much better up shores. The shirt's hindering him. There's no, it's like the joint inside doesn't want to spin right. That's tight down there, though. The cloth shirt. Oh, yeah. Oh, it can go up pretty far. The shoulders. With the elbow. It's pretty good at the elbow. Mm -hmm. I think it could spin here at the wrist. I think there is a hinge joint inside of here. Pop that off. Yeah, there's a hinge joint in there. You can't see it. You don't know? Yeah, there's a hinge joint in there, but it, it's kind of hard to make it work with this big, thick rubber glove. It'd probably kind of work, but not really. So, that's basically his arm articulated. Then, at the torso, you can go back and forth a little bit. You can spin a little bit. But the outfit kind of hinders him. Oh, wait. Maybe not. <laughs> I guess that's separate. He can spin at the waist all the way around. So that's cool. And you can go like that. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so there's decent articulation. John Snur knows how to haunt. <laughs> John Snur! And there's really good articulation at the hip area. He can almost do a split. And then he can kick way out like that. Pretty good articulation there. You can spin too. Then at the knee, it's double jointed at the knee. Cannot kick his own ass. He can't? No. No. And then you can spin there. And I think there is I think there's articulation in there, but this boot is so thick and rubbery it doesn't it's not gonna hold, so really can't do much of the ankles. So that's basically it for articulation. I forgot to mention this when I was taking this off. The first time I took it off, it was, you know, wrapped around his chest. And I tried to slip his arms out. And didn't realize until after I got it off that this is a working belt buckle. And it makes it a lot easier if you just use the working belt buckle to take it off and put it on. So do that if you plan on taking this cape off. But to put it on, you just... Take it on and then do basically a little crisscross. And then buckle it behind his back. Yep. And it's really easy. It's not difficult at all. I think it 
fits pretty well in the first hole of the buckle or of the belt. You're Oof. fired. There we go. And then slip it through there. Oh, come on. <laughs> it was so much easier before. You're okay. completely oh, fired. Wasn't <laughs> and there you got it. It's a little crooked right now, though. But you can adjust it. And I got a sword backwards. His little wolf sword's biting his nipple. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. We do doing down there, wolf sword? Bite your nipple! I'm a little concerned about that. <laughs> Don't you know winter is coming? <laughs> Does anybody know about that? Anybody? Winter is coming. It's freaking snowing everywhere. Does anybody know about the winter? Anybody? Brand name is Wolf Summer. Summer's not coming. Somebody out there must have a wolf named Winter, and Winter's coming. <laughs> On your face? Yeah. My wolf should be named Winter. It's freaking white. And I named it Ghost. It's not a dead wolf. I should have named it Winter. My arm's falling off. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 It's probably that dickhead guy from the Night Watch cut my arm off. Because you're like, a traitor. Oh, that dickhead. Oh, if he's right here, I'd be like, kick. Whoa, look, three zeros on my boot. I didn't even notice that until I just now <laughs> <laughs> See, sometimes being a retarded, drunken idiot pays off. Yep. <laughs> didn't notice that was down there. <laughs> Anything on its foot? No. Nope. nope, just dirt. <laughs> Should probably put his hand back on. But which hand? All of them. I put on his jack off hand. <laughs> Double jack off for my two jacking off <laughs> things. <laughs> Double dragging off on my two penises. <laughs> so there's Jon Snow next to the other three zero Game of Thrones figures that we have. Tyrion Lannister. And let's say they look like they're in scale with each other. And these two actually did meet for a short time. I think in the very first season. Well, it was the very first season. When uh, Tyrion rode with Jon Snow because he wanted to see the wall piss off of it. <laughs> What you did. I'm gonna piss off the whole wall. And he gave some advice that made me like him a little more. Because when I first seen Tyrion, I wasn't sure if I'd like him, but after he talked a few times, I was like, I think I like that guy. But he gave him, him some advice about, I'm a dwarf! And it's kind of like you being a bastard, and everybody hates us, so fuck him. <laughs> That's basically what he said. <laughs> so. This Tyrion figure is really awesome, and I think the likeness is a lot closer. I mean, I wouldn't say a lot closer, just it's closer and more realistic to Peter Dinklage. I think the face on that one's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to get that close. Mm -hmm. But I, I do think Jon Snow is really close. I think it looks like him. I really think they captured his most often used expression. I think his eyebrows are slightly off. I think that's what it is for me. Maybe. Yeah, there's something. It's just... It's not perfect. But it's thicker eyebrows. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, his eyebrows are darker. It's got, like, dark black eyebrows. Because I just looked at a picture of him. I think that might be part of what you... I think you may be right. But it's still really good. I think his hair should be a little more black, too. Yeah. It's kind of almost brown here. I think they tried to do, like, shading on it, and they did, like, brown highlights, but his hair is very black. Yeah. But still, it's, that's just, like, a minor gripe, because it's pretty damn close, I'd say. Mm-hmm. And just to compare to another Cisco figure, here is the Hot Toys Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy, played by Chris Pratt. And I don't know if this is the accurate height of the actors. But I don't care. Works for me. And here is Chewbacca. My main reason I compared them is because they both got Sour. furry parts. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and you just said that uh, Jon Snow looks like a... He looks like a medieval Sith Lord in that outfit. Yep. <laughs> He's Kylo Ren yeah. from the medieval ages. <laughs> and a little less emo. <laughs> and there's the 3 0 Walking Dead Pet Walker. You can see, like, what I was saying about their really nicely worn looking clothes that they have, which also is on this Jon Snow figure. 
His pants have been antiqued. <laughs> <laughs> I got the hand to hold the sword. This is the hand where the, the thumb is attached to the pointer finger. I got the handle in there, but... It, you gotta wiggle it. Yeah, you gotta be careful, because it's, it's, it might break if you're not careful enough. But he's holding onto the sword with two hands, so that's cool. You can actually do that. I really like the figure. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's... It's pretty damn good. Yep. Like, my gripes would be... That Your grapes. My grapes. My grapes would be his uh, fur on his cape seems seems like it's matted down, and the clothes like the <laughs> clothes around his neck seem <clears throat> like they're a little bulky looking, which isn't that bad. And the shading on his hair, yeah, because it should just be black. Mm -hmm. And it be nice if he came with a stand. Just because he doesn't stand very well without a stand. Like, I got him here, but if you want to stand him straight up, this the weight of his cape is too much. So you kind of need to get a stand. You can buy them cheap online, but it is be cool to have one. Come yeah, he, he does okay with his feet spread apart, but if you put his feet together, then he topples. Yeah. Unless you lead him forward. He likes to spread his legs. But overall, I think this is a really awesome figure. Jon Snow is like one of my favorite characters from Game of Thrones. He probably, I think he's probably my second favorite character after Tyrion. So. Me too. I'm really glad they made a figure that captures his awesomeness or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really like him. So. <coughs> this is Mr. G. No, 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 Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Oh no, it's a white. We must burn it with fire. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know why I'm talking like Arnold because I can't do an English accent. We must burn this walker with fire. Blah. I'm not a white walker. Well, you're some kind of walker. Not a white one. Are you a waka waka? I'm a brown walker. Waka waka waka. <laughs> Tyrion, what are you doing? What I told you I was going to do. Piss off the wall. What are you talking about? You have to ride with me to the top of the wall so that you can piss off of it. Right now, you're just pissing on a wall. Don't be so sure, Jon Snow. Asshole! What the hell? I'm the wall, and you just pissed on me, and I am really pissed off. Well, I pissed off the wall, now I can go back to King's Landing. Piss off my sister. Ha <laughs> Damn wall, I didn't know you could talk. Do you know why? Uh... Because you know nothing, Jon Snow. No, I should have known you're gonna say that. Oh damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Oh.